Yesterday we were um, looking at this relationship um, and we were trying to understand which one came first. We were generally of the opinion, having looked at this section here, um, that in fact this side um, had come in first and then was cut by the roundhouse ring ditch. Um, having had a really good clear up of it um, yesterday afternoon, just before it hammered it down with rain again, um, we've looked at this side and then we've also looked at this side and we've changed our minds completely about what we think is happening. <laughs> we can just see now where um, John's actually gone in and overcut this a bit and we've got the ditch profile coming through a bit better. So we've come to the conclusion that, that actually the roundhouse ring ditch came first and was back filled with rubble and those are the bits where we got the nice um, pieces of pot out of um, and then this uh, ditch feature coming in behind me um, was cut through into it later um, and then some of the stones in the rubble have probably been pulled through by ploughing. So is this a new trend? It's got three features in it, it's got a ring ditch in that end uh, this bit here we think is a continuation of the feature that's in that trench there and then we've got a enclosure ditch which we think is coming in at two angles. Has the rain made it easier in any way? Uh, Far worse no. <laughs> because the ground's heavier and every time you sort of achieve something you get pushed back because of the rain filling in the trenches. And we have to clean up after the rain to so we can see the features again. <laughs> it doesn't help. <laughs> and of course we have to mop up all the uh, the puddles before we can start to get in the trench there full, <laughs> full of water. Does the rain bring out features any at all? Um, it hasn't really done here because it's uh, sand. It's kind of obscured things more than brought it out. I guess it will it'll probably bring up the colour a little bit. It tends to create a spotty effect which doesn't really help. And in this case it's just caused a lot of sand to run into the, the base of the trench. All this stuff is just natural sand that's come out the sides. It's really annoying. If we can get to the bottom of the ditch and record it by the end of today, then we won't have to worry about cleaning it up again. Mm -hmm.